What's up guys, Simon here with Tech Visibility. Today I'm gonna go ahead and review another Tozo product. These are the Tozo NC9s. They're supposed to have more bass and I've reviewed the Tozo T6s, the T10s, the T12s, and they were all great. The T6s were basically an AirPod almost clone. The T12s uh, provided some better in-ear detection and the T10s were a version that I would say is kind of in between the T6s and the 12s that had great bass, but in my opinion, were not the premium ones. I wanted to see if these are gonna have more bass as advertised. Now, they don't advertise that the NC9s are waterproof, but they are actually IPX6 waterproof versus IPX8 on the T6s that I recently reviewed. So let's check these guys out. Let's get them unboxed and review them and see if they are worth $49.98, which is almost double the price of the T6s that I recently reviewed. So let's see if the sound quality Quality is that much better and get this puppy unboxed. All right, got my handy dandy shrink wrap knife. There we go. This is the best part. As always, the packaging of the Tozo products is pretty similar to the Apple products as well and the AirPods, a nice white box. You have some indicators here on the box, NC9 upgraded. They're saying they're lightweight, dual microphones. What's neat is I see there's two mic ports on these here instead of one, and it opens like so. So once you have them open, again, you have a very Apple similar manual holder. Just very simple touch in here. They should pair pretty quickly. And like a lot of their other products, the left earbud and the right earbud control two different things. The left controls your previous song. You could obviously hold. You could use Google Assistant or Siri by tapping it three times. And that's on both earbuds. The only difference between the left and the right is the right one, you're skipping forward. The left one, you're skipping backwards. And if you're holding the right or the left, you're gonna either decrease the volume with the left or increase the volume with the right. So that's pretty much it. In terms of the manual, very good manual in multiple languages, very well put together. I would say this is a high quality manual. So I don't know if you'll read that, but let's get into what comes with the product. All right, here they are. Here's the case. It's very, very interesting case. These look like they're bigger compared to the T6s. So they are definitely a lot bigger and they have a bigger driver. So I'm expecting a lot more bass and they feel heavier. Now inside you get your 18 month warranty that you could scan as well as your USB charging cable, which is about six to 12 inches I would assume. So that's neat, they give you that. Packaging really nice, very solid. I would say quality packaging in here you're getting different size ear pieces that will allow you to fit it perfectly. And it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six sizes. That's really neat. That's pretty good quality. For $50, they did not short you with anything. So let's move the packaging aside. Let's see how these fit in the case. The case feels a little bit chubby. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it does feel like these are some big big ear pods and it does snap together like so. You would charge it in the back. Here you have what the indic indicator on the case is. The hinge feels pretty good. They're charging. There's a little bit of a soft cushion and an indicator here how much battery you have. So it's charging all four levels. I like it. I think it's a really nice case. Now when you take them out, they're gonna be in pairing mode. So let's get our iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's see if we could pair these guys really quick. Go into the Bluetooth setting. And there they are. They pop up just like that. Let's get them in there. And they're connected that easily. Now, this has an indicator, which is left and right. So you can see left and right on these. I'm going to pop the left ones in. I've always had a problem with these staying in my ear. I am feeling less muffled with these, I think because the rubber piece is a little bit smaller, guys. I got Apple Music. I'm going to play... A weekend on these as well. Volume's about three quarter of the way. Let's see if these have bass, baby. That's what I'm looking for. So they have really good mid bass. Um, I would, I feel like the bass is consistent through the song, versus some high note bass and then it's over. 
really good headphones. They're definitely better quality than the T6s. I don't think that much better than the T6s, but the bass is really good. Let's let's play a different song. I'm gonna play. Let's play "Plug Walk Rich the Kid." I played that song on uh, the T6s, and I, there's a lot of bass. Okay, so let's see how this sounds. Here we go. It's gonna start. All right. What we're trying to do is figure out if these have a lot more bass because that's what they're advertising, premium deep bass. So the drivers in the NC9s are a lot better than the T6s. They're a bigger, but I will tell you, these fit more comfortably. I like them a lot more than, than the T6s or even the T12s. I feel like I could actually work out in these as well. They're not going to fall out. They feel snug in here. They feel great. They feel like they fit my head a little bit or my ear better. The mids are really good. The lows are really good. The treble is great. I think these are pretty good for 50 bucks. The bass is there. So I could see this driver being a little bit stronger than the T6s. Let's do a classic rock. All right. We got Sim Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. So let's see. All right. Apple Music gives you all the words so you could sing along to it. Let's see how they sound with classic rock. Again, we're playing them on the Tozo T9s. Man, that's really good to have earbuds. Now, when I remove the earbud, they don't pause. So keep that in mind. You're paying $50, but they're not going to give you that pause and play feature that the AirPods will. The sound quality is amazing. If you don't mind uh, pausing them yourself and playing them, they're going to be really good. So overall, the quality of the NC9s is probably the best ones out of the Tozo line in terms of bass and deeper sound. If you're going to be listening to a lot of hip hop, I would definitely go with the NC9s over the others. Really good quality. All right, so let's go into some technical stuff. And sorry, I'm yelling because these were really loud in comparison to the T10s and the T12s that I reviewed. So the NC9s, what do I think of these? beautiful beautiful earbuds first of all they're amazing the sound quality was a lot better the deeper bass all throughout the song in different genres of music the battery life they're saying these guys are going to be eight hours of playtime on the earbuds themselves now with the case and total battery life for music is 24 hours so they're advertising six hours less than T6s that I recently reviewed. So 24 hour total battery life when they're charged and ready to play. The hinge, the hinge feels great on these, better than the T6s, does not feel flimsy at all. The magnet is just great. It closes pretty good. I don't feel like it's gonna open and they're gonna fall out. Double microphone system in here. So you got two microphones. What that's gonna enable is great sound quality from each ear, earbud, charging indicator as well. What I like about these, they also offer transparency mode. With transparency mode, you could hear someone around you, etc., while you're in a, a public place. It also feels better when you're talking on the phone with transparency mode. So you're getting a full feature of the Apple AirPods Pro with these Tozo and C9s for a fraction of the price, okay? They're a really good product. I would definitely consider these as my main earbuds. They are saying there's a hybrid active level cancellation with them. I did feel like there was some noise canceling. Nowhere near the Bose 700s or the 1000 XM4s or any of those best noise canceling ear earphones, but there was some noise canceling. The transparency mode is great as well. The pairing was super simple. I enjoyed the pairing. It was right out of the box. Really good earbuds. If you're looking for a good quality earbud headphone, these are really good for the price. The bass is amazing. The sound quality is amazing. They actually fit very well in comparison to the T6s. So I really enjoyed that as well. Anyway, guys, the link is below. These are about $49.99. I hope you enjoyed this video review of the Tozo NC9s. If you did, hit that like button for me and subscribe to our channel and check out our latest news, reviews, leaks on techvisibility.com. And I'll catch you guys here in the next video. Thanks for watching.